Hello Internet! Your second favourite VGC YouTuber is back. I'm alive on the internet once more and um, as you can probably see already lots of things have changed. Um, new team but the thing up here has changed a bit as well too. As you can see I've no longer got any hair or well, not much anyway. Uh, a few days ago I just decided to cut it all off. Just shaved it all off, did it myself, just went into the bathroom, off it goes. And uh, I quite like it, you know. Let me know what you think in the uh, <laughs> in the comments below, but I quite like it. I feel, I feel, I don't know, <laughs> feel like a woman. <laughs> That's not the right line, Barry. <laughs> but anyway, um, I also, <laughs> I al yeah, okay. I also live in uh, Scotland as well now, so, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, apparently I just sit in this room and make myself laugh all day. Um, I live in Scotland, so I, you know, I've moved about a five-hour drive north of, of where I did live in England. Um, it's it's different, obviously. Um, I like it. It's nice. Um, there are premier challenges and uh, a few mid-season showdowns here, uh, which I have been going to to um, and you know winning to get my invite for the uh, 2019 World Championships. And this is the uh, last team that I used to um, get my points, basically get my invite. Um, and let's do some games with it, you know, as uh, as I'm sure you assumed we would. Um, it does look a lot like my VGC 16 team, um, because four of the six are the same. Uh, Rayquaza Xerneas, as we get someone from it uh, Italy, Italia straight away, uh, Volcarona and, hmm, and, uh, Scrafty, Scrafty the forgotten Pokemon of, of all of the Pokemon, thanks to Incineroar, um, but... I swapped Thunderous for Tabacoco, and it was those six that I used in uh, Berlin, which went very badly. I played very badly. Um, you know, I just haven't really been playing much, you know, and not at all seriously this season, really. So uh, Berlin went very badly for me. Uh, but I changed Smurgle for the uh, Blast Toys, as you can see up there too, because I did. I still wanted another fake out, and the fact a fake, a fake, a fake, bleh, bleh, a faster fake out than the Incineroar, as there is there. Um, but I also wanted something that could threaten Groudon as well, which it does obviously with the airlock and the uh, Delta Stream. But this guy has uh, an interesting team. It's it's very teamy. Um, so the Tapu Lele is maybe going to be the issue here. Yeah, Tapu Lele Manectric. Yeah, yeah, those are a bit a bit funny for me. Um, so I'm actually I'm gonna go with Blastoise and Tabacoco leading, so no restrictors leading. And um, obviously I need my Xerneas here, and yes, I do need Rayquaza here as well too. But this is it's an interesting lead that I find myself leading quite often. Blastoise Tabacoco. I don't think it's a great lead, but it does tend to give options, I suppose, which is always what you want in a lead. But the problem with a team like this is it's not very good at switching and. If you don't get what you want lead-wise, it can become very sticky. But, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Because the, the problem is, the Manectric is going to be faster than my type of Coco. So I can't do any naughtiness with that. Hmm, before it gets to attack. Or before I get, you know, you know what I mean. But yeah, I led type of Coco thinking it might be a Scarf Lele. And, ooh, okay, Assassin. A sidekick seed uh, evolved, so that's interesting. Um, but I did think uh, he might lead with the Tapu Lele because on paper, you know, on team preview, my team looks like it's kind of weak to Scarf Lele. But I thought um, he's quite weak to Xerneas as well, and he needs to Magic Room to uh, to stop me. So what I am going to do here is I'm going to go for a Fake Out into Evolto, and I know it's Scarfed. I'm just going to go for uh, go for an Electro Web here. And um, do a little bit of damage to both, but bring the Tapu Lele slower than. Um, okay, bring Tapu Lele slower than. Okay, yeah. So that was a that was uh, yeah that worked out for him. <laughs> to bring the Tapu Lele slower than the uh, the Coco. That was a plan, but okay. So we yeah. So this is not a good position for me now. We've given him a plus one boost to Manectric. Which is probably just going to Volt Switch on my Blast Toys, you would think, wouldn't you? Yeah, 
Does it mega evolve though? Because Tabacoco in his in his head, Tabacoco is still maybe threatening the evolve tool. I did just show show Electro Web, so maybe he thinks it's not the most offensive. So maybe I Electro Web again. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in Rayquaza and Electro Web again. Because if he Mega Evolves, he intimidates me, but he's no longer Lightning Rodding. And if he doesn't, then he's not really threatening too much damage. Yeah, okay, so he's just protecting. The Evolve is probably going to be going for a Tailwind here, I would imagine, but... Um, at least we're doing a bit of damage. <laughs> yeah, it's going to do like 15%. Yeah, so he has Tailwinded. Hmm. So he can't really touch my Tabacoco here. So I'm just going to protect my Rayquaza. And Electro Web again, I think. Because another Electro Web will bring the Evolutal slower than Rayquaza. And again, if Renectric doesn't Mega Evolve, then it's not really threatening too much damage. If it does, okay, it's intimidating me, but I'm chipping away its speed as well now. And... Um, I have got Wild Charge on this Tabacoco, but I'm intimidated as well now. But maybe if I can jiggle myself into a position in the future, I might be able to do something. Oh, okay. Tabacoco is faster than the Evoltal already. So that's a very bulky Evoltal, it seems, then. And he's Oblivion Winging into my... Rayquaza, okay. So now I've got some options. And I think what I am going to do is... Ooh, do I... Hmm. I'm thinking of going for a Nature's Madness and a Dragonus into the Evoltal. But at minus one, will a Dragon Ascent knock out the Evoltal? I'm thinking about not Mega Evolving, because I do kind of want I do kind of want the weather advantage, so I'm gonna try and and not. Alternatively I could wild charge, but I don't really want to do damage to myself and I am at minus one. I haven't really got any investment in um Tava Coco. So nature matches Nature's Madness is probably going to do about the same sort of damage. Ah, and is intimidating me again. Okay. So if I did go for a Wild Charge, um, it would have done even less, but I'm probably going to be losing my Rayquaza here. Unless it decides to be very strong. But minus two Dragon Ascent. Oh, that is close. If I'd Mega Evolved... I'm not sure if that would have knocked it out or not. But now his Groudon, which we haven't seen yet. He's not got his Groudon, has he? I should start. This is why people take notes, isn't it? Barry. Um, so he's not got his Groudon. So, okay. So I should have Mega Evolved. Uh, I, okay, so we didn't see we didn't see Landris that turn, but we know it's Lele and Manectric in the back. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna go Blastoise here. The problem is like he will have the Z move on the Landorus, which is which is why I didn't really want to put Xerneas in. But maybe I should have. And he's got one more turn of Tailwind. So I'm kind of forced to fake out the Landorus. I think. And I 
I'll just wild charge the Evolter there. I'm not sure if Electro Web we're knocking out from there, but um, yeah. So we've we've wasted his his Tailwind, basically. The problem is the slanderous is 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 kind of threatening us. And I need to somehow jiggle into a position so that Xerneas can Oh, I'm not liking the look of this. Yeah, I'm not liking the look of this. I mean really he just has to earthquake, doesn't he? Oh, I'm making the wrong move here. I know I am. Ah. Well, I hope this is into Coco, but it's not going to be, is it? It's going to be into Blastoise. It is into Coco. Okay. Now... I did icy. I was thinking about water spouting there, and in hindsight, I should have because remember he is still he has still got his psychic seed boost. He is a plus one special offense. He's gonna survive this icy wind and um, get his tailwind up. If I hadn't missed that electro web, we would have been in such a good position here because the electro web would have done that amount of damage. Oh, it's just oblivion winged. Oh, oh I'm, I'm okay. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. He should have tailwinded there, but you know he he wouldn't have had the the option to if I'd if I'd hit my electro up there. Um, so Xerneas comes in. He has got the scarf Lele and Manectric in the back, so I do definitely need to geomancy here. Yeah, so I definitely geomancy. Now Landorus is. Now slower than Blastox. So I could knock it out with either a Water Spout or an Icy Wind. But I need to deny him a Tailwind. And Landorus doesn't really do too... It doesn't really threaten. Like, an Earthquake's not going to knock out Blastoise. He has just used his Zed move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for um, my Hydro Vortex into a Voltol and Geomancy. So, yeah, I'm not showing much respect to Landorus this turn, but I don't think you have to. Like, he'll Earthquake, he'll do some damage to me, definitely. But then I've got my Xerneas set up. And I'm not Water Spouting, I'm not Icy Winding, because him Tail Winding is how he wins this game. So I've got Water Spout on this Blastoise. Good old, you know... Big old powerful moves and a Z water spout hydro vortex is a base power of 200. That's big, you know. That one shots all Incineroar unless they're assault vested. Um, you know that that one shots Groudon, you know, through protector. I think some frail ones, but uh, yeah, it's just earthquake there. Blastoise should survive this, I think. Yeah, definitely. And um, because we've denied him his tailwind. I think we're okay here. Yeah, it brings his Tapu Lele in. Which is fine. Because I know it's Scarfed. Because it, it brought its Psychic Surge out before my Coco brought its Electric Surge out. And I know that Blastoise that speeds is Landorus. And I can knock out with an Icy Wind. Especially single target. After I've moon blasted this Tapu Lele. Plus two Dazzling Gleam doesn't get out, doesn't uh, one shot Lele, so I have to moon blast here. Yep, knocked it out. Because of the previous Icy Wind drop. Yep, Blastoise is faster, we hit, thankfully. That 5% is always there, haunting. <laughs> but. 
He's just got his Manectric in the back now, hasn't he? I'm just It's been a long time since I've done this. I'm just looking at my microphone. Like, it is on, isn't it? I hope you can hear me. I'm just seeing the little, like, audio thing is moving around, and I'm not sure if that's the, the game audio or the microphone. I'm just, I, I'm, okay. Yeah, you can hear me. Yeah, there's, there's some little green lines going up and down there. You can definitely hear me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. So, um, yeah, we'll just, whatever, it doesn't matter what we do here. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done, the, since I've done this. Um, the things that have stayed the same, by the way, um, to catch a card is still a massive pain. It, it literally took me about half an hour to, you know, wiggle the wires around and, and everything to um, get this working. And um, it's still working for now. I mean... Obviously, you know, <laughs> I'm tenting fate there, but if it fails, I'll try and fix it mid-video. Um, if it fails and, and it's completely gone, then, um, well, you're probably not going to see this. So, uh, if you're seeing this, then good. Capture card has continued working. But, uh, yeah, I mean, what do you think about Showdown as well? Here's a second question for you. Um... If my capture card really does like properly pack it in and, and I can't record anything even with um, vigorous and persistent wiggling. Um, hello Xander. Is Showdown okay for you? Um, I mean obviously it's easy to record um, but it doesn't look as nice. You know seeing all the animations is, is pretty nice isn't it? But um, there was that regional in America this last weekend too. And there were three three Whimsicots in the top eight. This might have been one of the teams. Um, so I probably should know what it does. But... Clearly don't. Um, so, two Tailwind options. Two Trick Room options. Actually, three Tailwind options. And uh, <laughs> two Trick Room options. Groudon and Evel Another Groudon and Evel that last guy was grabbed on the belt, wasn't he? Um, okay, so again, Xerneas looks very good here, aside from that stack attacker. So I'm gonna go. Hmm. I'm gonna go with. I'm thinking Blastoise and Coco again, but. If he leads Coco Groudon there, then that's not good for me. But I'm going to try. I'm going to go for it. I do want my Rayquaza and I do want Xerneas as well too. And now I know there's a stack attacker there. And I know that I probably should be taking my Scrafty here. But as you can see, I'm not. Um, which means I'm relying on Blastoise to knock out a stack attacker. Which is doable. But I just need to... Preserve Blastoise, else I will lose to Stack Attacker. Okay, so he hasn't let. I was hoping he would lead with Stack Attacker and I'd get like a sneaky. a sneaky go at it, but that isn't the case. I'm imagining he's going to electric attack my Blastoise and Tailwind. That's what I'm imagining. Well, he doesn't really threaten my Coco at all here, so I'm going to go for the fake out into his Coco and just Electro up here. So, is he should be getting his Tailwind here. Oh, okay, or not. Okay, here's the Groudon coming in. So this is the, uh, the pair that I was worried about. Does he have his stack attacker in the back then? Like, he has to have stack attacker in the back, surely. Salamence, Groudon, Coco. It's either stack attacker or Evil Toll. And Electro Web does hit the Coco. Brilliant. Does a decent amount of damage, actually, that. Okay. Now, I'm really, like, that's just so, so cheeky. Like, I really want to just water spout and switch in Rayquaza, but 
that's such a I mean, it's not obvious, is it? But, like, it's it's such a... It's the move to do. And I'm sure he knows it's the move to do. Because I don't think... Water Spout knocks out the type of Coco from here. Although, uh, that Electro Web did do a decent amount of damage. But, you know what? First video back. Let's, uh... Let's go big. And, uh... Try and get the cheeky knockout here. Yeah, nice. Okay, so, I mean, ideally this knocks out the Coco, ah, which is so close to doing, because, like, it looks nice, but if he's got a stack attacker in the back, which he should do, okay, he's not, he's not knocking out my, uh, my Blast Pulse. <sighs> That's close, though. But yeah, even if he's got a stack attacker in the back, I hope he brings the stack attacker out now, but... Even if he's got a stack attack in the back, um, I think if I lost my last toys, I would have lost the game. He has brought in the stack attacker. Nice. I hope it hasn't got protect. Or I hope this isn't just a bait. Because last toys, minus one speed, I'll still be faster. He can't, I mean, there is no Groudon, but I've got Rayquaza in as well. I'm just going to go for a Hydro Vortex into the stack attacker. And extreme speed into the type of Coco. So, okay, Coco goes into Salamence. Okay, so he, he maybe does have Protect on the Stack Attacker then. At least we'll be doing 30% through the Protect. Yeah, that's a shame. Okay. Because, like, it's nice to get the damage on there, but... My ways to hit it are... Limited. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So I felt quite bold going for that move. I don't think Protect is the most common move on Stack Attacker. I mean, obviously, it's not the most common move. Like, Jarry Ball obviously is, but, um, and Drift Room. But. Hmm. What do we do here? So I've got Coco and Xerneas in the back, and he has got... It's just his Coco in the back, isn't it, on, on the tiny map HP. So he probably doesn't want a Trick Room here, because he's got Coco and he's got Salamence. So he's not Trick Rooming. I think we can, we can assume that. So I'm going to go for an Icy Wind here, and... Oof... Bring Rayquaza into Coco. This just goes wrong if he just hyper voices and gyro balls, which he probably is, to be honest. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have just let Rayquaza go down there. Yeah, okay, so it is a hyper voice. And he's not going to be trick rooming here. A Jari Ball should knock out my cut. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, it's just rock sliding. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put Xerneas in now. I wonder if a Nature's Madness and the Moonblast knock Stack Attack out. Because that's the threat. I don't think he's going to Trick Room. But... Mm, at the same time... Okay, I'm thinking I should have maybe protected the Xerneas and 
gone for this nature's madness. I mean, this is going to be quite close. I don't think it will, but it is going to be close. Ah. And he's just gyro balling. Yep, so protecting Xerneas was the thing to do there. Okay. So the game's still not over, but... It's looking... It is looking quite over. <laughs> um, yeah, I I didn't think he'd protect with the Salamence there, but he had to target my Xerneas. Yeah, in hindsight, a protect on Xerneas and a Nature's Madness would have been fine, because then I could have gone for an Electro Web and a, and a Moonblast the next turn to knock out the, uh, the Stack Attacker. But I was just worried that if I protected my Xerneas there, um, okay, maybe if I get the damage on the stack attacker, he would knock out my my um, Tabu Coco, and then Rayquaza and hmm, yeah, I don't know, Rayquaza and certainly just wouldn't be able to do the job. I'm gonna try and like I hope. Worst case scenario here is he... Well, actually, there's two worst case scenarios. Uh, he tailwinds or he double edges my Tabu Coco. Ah, oh, and that's the one I needed. I needed the Electro... Well, I needed both, actually. But I really wanted the uh, the Electro Web into the Salamence there. It's actually Dragon Clawing my Salamence. Wow, okay. So that that is unfortunate because... I think that gives him the game... Yeah. Damn. Yeah, Electro Web on Salamence would have been so good there. Like, potentially game winning if I'd hit that Electro Web. If I'd hit the Electro Web, I would have been able to. Maybe it's a speed tie between Coco. Oh, it's a speed tie. <clears throat> um, if I won the speed tie, I won the game. Um, maybe there would have been smarter ways to play around that, but. But I missed it, and I need to. Uh, deal with this now. I think what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to extreme speed to the Salamence and go for the speed type with the Electro Web and see where we go from here. Um, if I win the speed type here, I still might win the game. Maybe. So I'm Delta Streaming. If he knocks out my Rayquaza, then the Delta Dream will go, so I can maybe wild charge the Salamence next turn. Oh, and he's won the speed tie as well. Okay. Well, that's that's Pokemon, isn't it? But, uh, yeah. So, okay, let's just imagine that I did hit that Electro Web on the Salamence then. Um, if I did just risk the speed tie, if he won the speed tie there, uh, he still would have won the game. Because he had Dazzling Gleam. But could I have maybe gone for an extreme speed into the Tabu Coco to be safe? And yeah, an extreme speed into the Tabu Coco and it would be two wild charges or a Nature's Madness and a wild charge or something like that. Because if I extreme speed his Coco, he has to target my Rayquaza that turn to knock it out. And if he's targeting my Rayquaza, Tabu Coco is sitting there getting two attacks onto his Salamence. So um, I, I think I would have won the game without that Electro Web missed, but that's Electro Web, that 5% is always there to, always lurking around the corner to uh, cost you a game, but anyway, um, my DS is on red battery, so um, I need to uh, plug it in, and that means moving my DS, and that means unsettling my capture card, which means <laughs> maybe this is the, the only video I'll ever get to record, so uh, uh, maybe there'll be a next time, maybe there won't, um, stay tuned, subscribe, and then you'll see, won't you? So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and um, if there is the next time, <laughs> I'll see you then. But if there isn't, let me know what you think about Showdown, and we'll see what we do. So uh, see you next time, guys. Bye for now.